We start today's episode with a job offer. I put this out on Twitter. I'm not going to share that just yet because we're going to delay this offer as long as they accept, which they said is with a Pogun Shadilza. Spent about 20 minutes trying to learn it off Google and uh, clicking on various websites, learning it in Polish uh, so that I could pronounce it correctly for you guys. Uh, and hopefully, I've managed that. Uh, so, that is Pogun Shadilza. We'll have a proper look at it, but we're going to play a game today, and that game is going to be against Dundee United in the Iron Brew Cup. The last episode was against Airdrie, beat Albion Rovers after that 3-0, an own goal from Neil Parry, a Conor Murray goal and a Jordan Kreitzley goal. We then drew 0-0 against Queen of a very defensive performance for us, uh, played on the counter-attack for most of the game, uh, which suited us. They, they were a far better team, in all honesty, and we had to adjust early on, and we did that. And we held out for an 0-0 draw. We're actually going to be the better team once we were proper counter-attacking adjusted to it. But the quality that they had really showed through. And a 0-0 draw was maybe the right result for us. And then we played Clyde. We won 4-0. Chris Renning getting a brace. Cameron Mackay uh, getting an own goal for us, helping us out. And Scott McKellar also scoring. Uh, a header of all things as well for Scott McKellar, showing that his jumping reach work is coming on. As we have a look, it's now up to eight. He's doing really well in training. He is getting there. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll skip ahead to the game and we'll get into this episode. Hello my friends and welcome to episode 18 of The Wanderer. This could potentially be the last game we have before for might be a job enter well a job offer decline. So, why have we not got uh, we're underdogs here? Um, doesn't seem very fitting. Um, yeah, so it could be our last game. It could be the first game of the rest of our four for career. We're playing against Dundee United, who are a league above us, uh, winning the league. So this is championship leaders versus league one leaders. Uh, Pogon Shadilta, I have had look at in quite sparing detail. I posted a number of screenshots onto Facebook, uh, Facebook, Twitter rather, and put a poll up to see what you guys thought. There was 14 replies to that. I will show that at the end. Well, when we're talking about the job offer, whether we're going to accept or decline. Uh, in honesty, I'm looking at the league reputation. It's, they're playing in the Polish Top League, which is a league I said I wanted to play in. And they are uh, in that league playing with... Oh, it's Kreitzley scores to put us ahead against Dundee United here. Let me just readjust my tactics. Um, they're playing in the top league, expecting to avoid relegation in that league. And I've looked at their players, and let me be honest with you, their team is not great. Um, There's a number of players that I see in this 4 for team that could make the jump up 74 leagues, put it that way, and get in the first team. However, being in the top league does appeal to me. That is something that I would look into, which is why I gave the decision to you guys, because I've been leaving 4 for with a heavy heart. I've really enjoyed it here. If I'm honest, the club's been great with me. You know, they paid efforts with every single coaching badge for me. Uh, taking me all the way up to currently working on my A license, which is the second highest. And they paid for every bit of that along the way. I think, except maybe one that Merzen paid for. So, they've been good by me. As Kreitzel is nicked in here. Can he find the net again? No, he can't. As long saves this time. So, it'd be with a very heavy heart to going to put what looks like from the brief look that I've had. Worse players, but in a better league. On a similar kind of budget. But much higher wage budget, don't get me wrong. And professional status. For a relegation battle, if they get relegated, the second league in Poland is slightly above uh, the championship in Scotland, so that balances out the promotion relegation argument as well. But you guys have decided for me, so we're going with that. Mark Scott was playing in this game because uh, Connor Murray got injured in the last game. He's out for 67 weeks. 
I forgot to take Mark Scott off a uh, youth duty when it was a youth game midweek, which is meant he is completely knackered going into this game. Which means I'm going to need to work a bit of magic and hope that he can do okay. So, I'm just going to go with, I'm happy with the performance. We're we'll 1-0 up against a team that is leading the league above us. Don't know how stripped full strength their team is, but, you know, it'd be nice to beat a team that is that much above us and progress in this competition. Airdrie absolutely destroying Bala there as Chris Renning can't win that one in the air. Comes back to Daryl Easton and Mark Scott, a sister turned goal scorer now. He's only in because of the injury to Connor Murray, but he's got a goal to his name. We're going to look at making some changes. Grant Gallagher's tiring, Renton's tiring, Easton's tiring, Scott and McFadden's tiring. I can only bring off Scott, I can't bring off McFadden because I need him. To come on to the right hand side when I make changes. Um, defence all looks good though. I'm going to leave it just a little while longer. If I am honest. So I applied for the Pogon Shadults at Pogon. Oh, I spent 20 minutes on Google Translate and it's already gone. Or not Google Translate rather. Uh, you know sound pronunciation websites. And it's already gone out of my head. We're going to bring on Anton Brady. We're bring on Lewis Allen. But I want that a little bit extra pace. As much as he's a better target man. Uh, playing counter, I'd rather have the extra pace than the extra aerial presence and physical presence that Alan brings as Picard is in, and that's a stonewall penalty given away by Scott McKellar there. We are two nil up at least, so might not be that bad, but it could come to bite us on the backside here. Murdoch with the free, uh, the penalty rather. He skied it. He's absolutely skied it. And this manager will not be happy with Murdoch there. Can actually even see a Murdoch in that uh, United team, you know. It's got to be a Murdoch somewhere, but I can't see it. Murdoch right back. Maybe explains it, but we're not going to give him that benefit of the doubt. We're going to bring on McBapte and switch McFadden into the right. And we're going to bring on Mark Miller for Gallagher. I've let this run on a bit late before making these extra subs. But we should be good now. They do have some strength on the bench though. James Keatings and Billy King coming off the bench for them. Very, very good players. Particularly for the championship level as well. So, got to be very good players against our sort of level. But looks like we've done enough here. Back the heads away. We've got about 10 seconds of added time remaining. Taylor whips it back in. Only as far as Mark McCallum. And that is a whistle for full time. We have got a 2-0 win against the leaders of the division above us. Well done, lads. Can't say any more than that. Absolutely ecstatic with that result. I cannot say any more than that because that was brilliant. Anyway, guys, I'm going to bring you back with that decision in just a second. We've got our job up in a game. The Twitter poll will flag up about now. And you will see that it was a marginal win for leave and go to Pogon Sedulza. I have made two saves, however, at this exact point. The first one being the one we will continue on with. The second one being staying at four for. Uh, and that's more, one, I'll have to stay on at four for as a personal save. Two, I'll probably split that again into two. And give you guys the option in this video... To do a what if we stayed at four for series. But maybe like two episodes a week. Something like that. See how we get on. And it maybe only last one or two years. Let me know if you want to see that. And I will have that as a personal save if you guys don't want it. And if you do. I'll do it as a series. So you guys decide that. You've now decided that you want me to move to Pogon Sedulza. So we're going to try and negotiate this contract. Make it a bit better. So let's reduce that to 10% and up this to a thousand. I think we can maybe nick an extra year as well. We're not close to agreeing. Okay, I tell you what, we'll knock this to say 15 and I'll take 950 and I'll only take the two years. 20, I'll take the 925. That's how you negotiate a contract, boys and girls. We are going to Pogon Shadulta. I'm a little bit heartbroken to be leaving for, for we'll continue on a day and we'll let you have a quick glance 
at Pogon. I should have showed you for first money. Uh, that was at about uh, seven hundred uh, thousand pounds. It was about six hundred and fifty, but that sort of region. Uh, I'll actually load up the other side and I'll flash it up here uh, so that you can see it. Forfer were paid 9k in compensation. I think it was 90% so of the competition. So I believe I've got a thousand pound of that, or that's gone somewhere. I'm not sure exactly. I'm a relatively unknown Scottish manager whose first game in charge will be against Arca. Probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, on Sunday, the 20th of October. So I've got about six days to prepare for that. Declared it was looking forward to the challenge at Rosarette. Don't believe or ever remember that. Don, who famously knocked out Dundee United on Saturday in October, will no doubt be hoping to provide similar, similarly memorable moments stepping up to a bigger club. Reputation wise, are actually the same, just for reference. Hogan Sedulza have now suffered three straight league defeats and the relegation candidates find themselves in 16th place in the Lotto S. Transclassa. They turn out to pronounce that as well, and they've lost four of their last five league games. Not going to be easy then. Welcome to Bogon Still Dance. I will go through all this. Great, let's have this meeting. I would love to know a bit more about this club because I know literally nothing right now. But love to meet the journalists. And thank you for the introduction. Now we'll meet our assistant. Love to get a second opinion. Um. Yeah, be great benefit, and let's get the friendly sorted right now. Uh, I'll arrange your friendlies, but if you could manage them for me, that'd be perfect. And thanks for your help. Sorted all that. Done. Thirty-five years since the club was founded in nineteen forty-four, and do everything possible to ensure that this will continue to be a proud footballing, a proud year for this club, basically. And I believe we're bottom of the league when he's asking me to do that. In fairness, we're only just bottom of the league. How many games we're going to play here? Let's get the rules, actually. That would make sense. So, 30 games, play each other twice. So, I've got 20 games to turn this around. Results between teams are most important. Goal difference, goal scored. Discipline is interesting here. Teams' record against other teams on the same points will be sorted by the rules using the following order. Goal difference and away goals scored. So I assume it's results between the teams are what matters, then goal difference, then goal scored, and then discipline. And if all those things are the same, then I assume it's goal difference and away goal scored. Qualification top eight teams. Oh, yes, we, there's two groups in this. Um, the relegation group and the championship group. One team qualifies for the Champions Cup qualifying group plays, two teams for the Europa League. Disciplinary rules all fairly standard. Uh, let's have a look. Where's foreign player rules? Because no more than no, two non EU players playing in the starting 11. Players signed on a free transfer can be signed at any time. That's handy. Players under the age of 21 can be registered at any time. Only players registered for this competition are eligible to play. Seven subs free used. I like that. I do prefer that. So let's have a look at stages of the previous season. So does this, and then we split into be the relegation group. And it works a lot like Scotland, so looks like you're going to play seven games in this. Every team wants. It's obviously a bigger league. And hopefully we can, this will be where we make or break our season really, is in this group, I think. If we can just hold on to the relegation pack till then, I will be happy. And then in this point of the season will be where I will look to turn the season around and avoid relegation. So... Obligations in the transfer market. So we've got four players on loan in and a lot on loan out. I'll go and review the squad all at some point very soon. We have players unhappy. These look like pretty key players as well. Uh, so I'll deal with all that. Uh, captain C. Let's have a look. So you're no longer being vice captain. I can assure you that. You're going to be the captain. Uh, and just gonna prefer your leadership. And I guess you're gonna be the vice captain, so we'll warn the guy first. Um
Okay, that went better than I thought it was about to. So we've got a new captain in Camaro Jonsic. For me, he was the best option. Attacking winger actually looks remote, semi decent. But again, <laughs> not any better than what Connor Murray was, uh, in honesty. And this lad is our vice captain. He is a 33 year old holding midfielder. So, and he actually looks very, very good um, compared to some of the other players I've seen. So, hopefully, I don't like this plays no through balls. That's a bit of an issue, but 33 is not going to change that. And we will have a look at finance. We're 200,000 in the red. Ouch. Okay. We're under our wage budget by quite a bit. That's good. Um, and we're not going to get to spend much. So, I will leave that episode here, guys. The next episode, we'll go through the squad. We'll have our first game against Akka. I think it's pronounced, unless there's a really, really big one that's coming up, like... Reza Walsh would probably be the only one that I would really know in the Polish League. Lech is actually coming up. That's quite soon. That's four games time though. Um, yeah, we'll go with Akka. It's actually a really big game as well. They're two points ahead of us with a game in hand. So that is the game we're going with. It's Akka. Uh, and we'll be back for that. We'll go through the squad. We'll go through the staff. Although I might have already started to adjust the staff by then. But I'll let you know what's changing. As you can see, our staff really could use a bit of TLC here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll hopefully catch you all next time.